Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. Just wanted to drop another video, just kind of showing uh, how Canadians are reacting to this new carbon tax that was just implemented a couple days ago on April 1st. So there's just a, vid a quick video covering that. So we'll just watch it. We'll talk about it like usual. And uh, here we go. That's how many protesters feel Monday, following Ottawa's increase of the carbon tax. We cannot afford this government and this socialism that's coming at us. This was the scene west of Calgary on Highway 1 near Cochrane, as hundreds protest against the increase. It's part of a nationwide protest. The group says they plan to stay as long as it takes to see the tax scrapped. I can see from coast to coast on social media that people are saying, you know what, we're coming out. We're saying, no, this is our country. It does not belong to the politicians. RCMP are advising point. people to avoid the area as some lanes are shut down. As protesters voice their concerns, holding signs and waving flags. Meanwhile, this crowd protesting outside the office of the only Liberal cabinet minister in Alberta, collecting signatures for the Cancel the Carbon Tax petition. Vehicles driving by the group in Edmonton, honking their horns in support as the group chants, acts the tax. The protest organizer says they aren't only protesting the increase of the carbon tax, but say they want the tax eliminated altogether. When you add up all the taxes, people are overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed right now. They're Okay, I mean, I think we, we get the point. We don't need to watch the whole thing. But obviously, Canadians are very upset about this. And, you know, one thing that's interesting is, you know, Trudeau keeps talking about how, you know, don't worry, we're giving you these rebates, you're going to get more money back than you pay in taxes. But yet the tax increase just went up by 23%. And I checked the CRA website, maybe they haven't updated it recently, but I don't see a 23% increase in our in our tax rebates. I'm a single man, I get $488 a year. Tax went up by 23%, still get eight, uh, $488 a year. So right there, it just proves that liberal math doesn't really work out too well, does it? It's, just, it's kind of interesting how Trudeau's blatant lies continue to spread. And there are people who still believe every word he says. Oh, this is helping. We're throwing money at the sun. That's going to help. Yeah. A couple weeks ago, there was a report that came out that said Canada has the worst air quality in all of North America. So, like, literally everything is getting worse under this stupid idiot and there are some people out there, there he actually just rose in the he actually just rose in the polls a little bit i actually saw that he was up to 27 percent now and of course the liberals are like oh he's coming back listen he got a bit of a bump because and i think that was due to the the six billion dollar housing program people like that now until they realize it's not going to work and then you'll see those numbers shift the longer this tax goes on you'll see those numbers continue to shift pierre paul yeah will likely heading in be heading into an election with 40 plus points, maybe even 45 plus points going in uh, uh, with the polls going into the election. So I know Trudeau's going to try to do everything he can to save his job, but uh, Canadians want him fired and he deserves to be fired. We need to do everything we can to try to ax the tax. I don't think that the protest is going to work. Trudeau clearly doesn't care if you're upset. He doesn't care if you don't have enough money. He doesn't care that he's destroying an entire class of people. He wants his way. He's a socialist. He wants everyone to be poor, except for his rich buddies, making sure that then if you're poor, you need more help from the government. More help from the government means they can potentially have more power and take more control over your lives. People like me generally want the government to stay out of our lives, or at least be in it as very little as possible, only when we need you, because that's their job. They are our employees. They're supposed to serve their employers, but they're not. So, I mean, we'll see. It looks like it's going to be another painful year and a half for us Canadians. I mean, I just, I'm trying to think about you know, what can we possibly do to try to give us all some hope, but it just doesn't look very good for us guys, but, but hopefully we can hang on, get ourselves to that next election and make sure that we vote this clown out of office and probably make sure he never holds any public office ever again. So that's going to be it for this uh, video today, guys. Please like and subscribe. I know it's uh, I know it's a bit, uh, sometimes the videos are a bit slow, but if you do watch it and you do enjoy the content, 
you know, if you do want to see my channel grow, definitely just quick, uh, qu quickly click the subscribe and like link. And, you know, that would, um, that would really help me out a lot. And I'd really appreciate that. Thanks so much for watching guys. And I hope that you have a great day.